Great job by the side of the Ohio brothers. In here comes the blazing duet and guap. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta think that you can't be losing two sides of the map at once. You're losing turtle and you get dove bottom. Guapsy was doing a great job. Shark maybe caught a little too deep. Oh gosh, and then you go ahead and land your ult onto a tank. Guapsy gonna go ahead and find the kill, but it is not, I mean, it's just great freeze coming out from Guapsy, but didn't have the support of the team or the pressure on the other side of the map to match it. Ooh, beautiful way of the dragon and a pop up now as well. Melody able to find an escape. Bet player is not con behind now. They, they claw back into this early game, and I want to see even more of this from Fallout. Start winning multiple plays on the map. Keep vision on them. Understand where their plays are going. Yuresh. Yeah, Yureshi with a good way of the dragon lands onto Milo. You do see a decent amount of damage. Melody gonna go ahead, find and escape as Shark is gonna have to use that Tyrant's Revenge to get himself out of harm's way. Guapsi doing a great job of trying to clear this lane, but he does run into a Yin Yang overturn. He had to send Beatrix to this top lane. Now, switching the lane should give the advantage. You have a turret to fall back on, should give the advantage. Ooh, beautiful pop up there, it does land on Fallout. Great punish for Fallout. They're punishing the lack of ability there on Yureshi. Comes in, he misses the flicker. Shark! Woo! Speaking of punishing, Shark comes in with a kill distribution right now. Guapsi might have three deaths, but has three kills under his belt as well. So still doing a great job. They're chasing on the Guapsi. Just as I say that, we might have another death as Yureshi clean. Out of aggression than passivity. Yeah, we see a little bit of a spread out here. Four fall. Guapsi oh in a little God. bit of trouble in the wrong bush. Coming in onto basic, but that is going brothers right and so much uh material was taken off the map in that lord push not only does lord give you a good bit of gold but then you're able to take a two or three turrets along with it and that's such an influx of gold here best player Ooh, shark comes in with a beautiful tyrant's revenge into a tyrant's rage and that there is he going to be able to put on the damage they've stopped putting damage onto the lord right now because they see anna in tow now we're starting to continue on this aggression lord take it down to about one third still looking for anna right now we do have a pop-up coming from the lord best player coming onto the back line you can see a lot of damage uzi doing his best to take it out best player down to about one fifth health anna able to take down gets the lord gets the lord what a beautiful steal for fallout you'll be this is where Divine Judgment is so uh, lethal. Yeah, you see that they do recognize it. And oh, we do catch a way of the dragon. And that's going to take Anna off the map. Oh, we do have an immortality. Anna's going to go ahead. <laughs> Execute does use that freeze. Here comes the going to be able to answer this. Anna sitting up here alone. Midnight's going to come and join the fight. They are not going to be able to push this right now. But we still are looming into the Lord. In comes Shark. Pops up Melody. Shark, ooh, gets a nice little pop up there, courtesy of the Lord. That might be able to cost them and turn the tides of this fight. You see who? Not to the backside, best player able to take down Wopsy. In comes the Blazing Duet, trying to put on the damage. Does activate that immortality from Uzi. Melody in a bad way, might not be the fight that she wants. Gonna activate that immortality. In comes basically gonna use that BMI to go ahead and close the distance. Anna on that Finch pose, perched up on the wall, waiting to find an opening. Is not able to find one just yet. You see best player is a little bit close. The Lord is down to about fifth health. This might be going over to the Ohio Bros unless Anna can kind of get in here. Basically takes down the Lord. This is a Lord for the Ohio Brothers as they begin their push onto Uzi. They smell blood in the water and they are not trying to retreat. They can do with their Luminous Lord. Yeah, Lord kind of coming in here. We do have the Feathered Airstrike coming down, trying to bring on the damage. In comes a beautiful pop-up, followed by a Blazing Duet, cutting them quite low. Hoon goes ahead and picks up the kill. Tempest Blades comes down, landing down, not able to pick up the kill. Anna taking a heap of damage. And now we see this is going to be the game-closing push. 